Hi everyone, my name is Adrian. I'm uniting two of my biggest loves in life, travel and beauty. Join me as I travel to exotic destinations and then create inspired makeup looks. First stop in Istanbul, Turkey, Galata Tower. When it was built, it was the tallest structure in all of Istanbul. Well, back then it wasn't Istanbul, it was Constantinople. Galata Tower is a medieval structure. It stands in the Karakoy area of Istanbul. It was originally built in 1348 during the Roman Empire. It stands 67 meters tall and is 17 meters wide. Galata Tower! I'm so excited to go up to Galata. It's the first time going into this big ass uh, structure. And I'm super excited to see what the hell's inside of it and see the big views from the city. Historically, the tower was used as a lookout point to spot fires. This was the use during the Roman, the Byzantine, and Ottoman Empire. Modernly, the Galata neighborhood is characterized by industrialization. It is a very important transportation hub for the city. Near the tower, you will see abandoned, dilapidated buildings with graffiti alongside trendy cafes and art galleries. Galata looks like a romantic medieval structure that was misplaced and painted into a picture of an urban metropolis. Galata Tower and Karakoy embody the juxtaposition of urban grunge and medieval romance. Okay guys, today I'm going to be starting my look with Urban Decay Primer Potion. I'm going to be placing this all over the lid for a base for my eyeshadow. This is an essential step in applying eyeshadow to prevent creasing. After applying the base, I'm going to apply Brulee by MAC all over my lid. The next color I'm using is a rusty orange color by Makeup Geek called Chickadee. I'm placing this in the crease of my eye using a blending brush. When applying a color to the crease, you want to use circular motions with the brush and windshield wiper motion. So work it from the outer corner to the inner corner back and forth to get really good flawless application. Next I'm adding a shimmery nude color to the crease. It's Purely Naked by Makeup Geek. The next color I'm going to lay down is Bitten by Makeup Geek. It's a really pretty red color. And I'm putting that on my outer V of my eye using a pointed crease brush. I'm just going to work that back and forth to put the pigment down and then blend it a little bit with the colors that are already there. But be careful to not move that red all the way over into the inner corner of the eye. I'm just concentrating the color on the outer third of the eye in the V area. And I'm using a clean blending brush to come back in and blend that into the other colors so I'm not worrying about adding more pigment or moving other pigment around that's already on my eye. Okay, now it's time to add some dark color. I'm finally adding some steely gray. No grunge look is complete without some gray or some sort of hard earth tone to it. So I'm adding Queen for a Day. This is a Sephora shadow and I'm adding it with a synthetic 
brush by MAC and I'm concentrating the color on the inner corner of the eye and then on the outer corner and of course working it into a rounded shape that follows the crease in my eye. The only blank spot I'm leaving on the eye is that center area and that's because we're going to lay down more pigment later. Okay, so I'm using the back of my primer potion by Urban Decay and I'm using the flat edge of it to create a line on the end of my eyeshadow. This is going to make it easier so I have a clean finish to the end of my eyeshadow. This is always helpful to do when you have an eyeshadow that is a little bit more um, grainy, loose, or pigmented and is kind of flying all over the place. It, it helps to not make a mess and to get darker colors colors mixed into face makeup if it's already done. And as usual, blend, blend, blend. And when you think you're done blending, blend some more. Okay, the next color, sorry for not showing you guys, must have just slipped my mind. I was in a zone. So the next color I did put down is Buzz by Urban Decay and I applied that with a little bit of Fix Plus Spray to get the pigment to pop and get a really good color on it. I am placing it in between the two gray areas and making sure that I don't cover the gray areas but I get a good coverage in the center of the eye and just really making sure that the pigment is intensified. Alright and as usual time to blend, blend and then blend and blend some more. Now down to the lower lash line. I'm taking Bitten and taking a pointed eyeshadow brush, a pencil brush, and dragging it along the lower lash line of my eye. I decided it looked a little too red, so I'm adding in kind of a brownish red color from a BH palette. If you have any dark brown color, that will work as well. Then I'm placing L'Oreal Smoldering Eyeliner into my waterline. Okay, going back in with Queen for a Day and putting it along the lash line as well, layering the gray sparkly color down. Layering these colors is really just going to intensify the look. And of course, it's time to blend them all together. Yay, it's time to put my eyebrows on. I'm putting them on with just a simple brown eyeliner pencil. Eyeliner, not eyeliner, eyebrow pencil. Okay guys, I'm just going to re-intensify the colors here, adding anything in that you really think needs to pop a little bit more. Now it's time for eyeliner. I'm just putting on a slight winged eyeliner by The Balm Schwing. Of course, don't forget to curl your eyelashes and put on mascara. Okay, starting my face makeup, I'm starting out with Benefit Pore Professional and I'm just placing that in the areas where I want to cover my pores. While that is marinating on my skin, I'm going in with the Race Paste in shade number 3 and placing it on my under eye area with a flat synthetic brush. This is really to correct the dark area that's under my eyes and balance it out. This stuff is amazing. I am so obsessed with it. It looks fantastic. I'm blending it out with a damp beauty blender under my eyes. Okay, so now I'm applying my foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. It is my number one favorite drugstore foundation. And of course, applying that with the damp beauty blender. And when you're doing this, I really like to think about putting the beauty blender on the skin and then picking it up. You're just pushing the product into your skin. You're not using a wiping motion and moving the product around. Okay, now going back to my under eyes, I'm applying the concealer. I'm using Tarte Maracuja Concealer in shade tan and I'm placing it with a flat synthetic brush. If you guys have no not noticed, I like to jump back and forth between areas. I feel like doing that you get a better application of the product. The product gets a different feel and texture that if you let things sit on your skin a little longer, things will start to look a little different. So I'm going back now to the under eye, doing my concealer, applying it, and of course going to blend that out also with the Beauty Blender. And I'm highlighting my eyebrows with the same concealer 
when you've got a lot of shimmer or dark colors going on, I feel like a good highlighting area of the brow bone is the concealer that you're using. It helps to not have shimmer all over from top, bottom of the eye, all over the place. It just gives it a little bit more of a matte finish under the eye. All right, time to set the concealer. I'm just setting this with a little bit of translucent Ben Nye powder under the eye. I'm putting an excessive amount under there and just globbing it on so that way it gets a chance to sit on my face and this will help to prevent creasing the longer you let it sit. So I'll move on to doing my highlight now. I'm going in with Bright Forecast by MAC. It's a highlighter pen. Placing it in down the center of my nose and under the concealer area and on my chin, around my mouth, anywhere that you want to bring light to. And then just blending that out with the Beauty Blender. Okay, so I'm going to contour my face using Bahama Mama by The Balm. I'm going in with a, actually it's a highlighting brush, but I'm using that just to get a sharper contour on my cheekbone area. I'm starting from the top of my ear and going down forward and placing that in and then placing it on the temples of my head and around the jawline area as well. And I'm using a Shimmer Brick by Bobbi Brown to highlight my cheekbone area, the center of my nose, and just put some warmth back into those areas. Now I'm adding my blush and I'm using the Hourglass blush. It's the kind of mocha color. I don't think it has a name on it. It is the one that looks like it'd be more mauve -y. It turns out pretty pink on my skin and I'm just adding that in with a blush brush. And now it is time for the second coat of mascara, combing the lashes out and putting down one more coat of mascara. And then I realized I had not contoured my nose, so I'm going back in with a small angle brush and just placing some contour powder down the sides of my nose and around the tip of my nose to make it a little less round. Okay, so I'm attaching my false eyelashes and these are just a pair of Ardell Wispy Lashes and I'm using Huda Beauty um, glue. This glue is very fast drying, I really like it a lot and so I'm just going to put those guys on right now. Time for lips. I'm just going to do a nice nude pinky lip and I'm lining my lips to start with with NYX liner in Peekaboo and then putting on a new lipstick. It's a Turkish brand that I found at a drugstore out here by Flormar and it's L16 if you do have access to it. But if not, this shade really reminds me of matte kind of sexy. This is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed coming to Galata with me. I think that this look embodies the perfect representation of what I saw in Galata the juxtaposition of grunge with romance and glamour. So I hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed making this video. If you like this video and you wanna see other travel inspired videos, please like this video, give it a thumbs up and share. And as always, please subscribe. And I can't wait to see you guys on the next adventure. Bye.